Thanks so much, Sarah. Well, Jack Ma has been noticeably silent after his high-profile critical rebuke of Chinese regulators back in October. He was even a no-show for a television program that he himself had created, which is an African version of Shark Tank. So the company says that the executives were, that he was swapped out for another executive at the company uh, because of a scheduling conflict. But as you can imagine, um, his absence has been raising a lot of speculation as to exactly where he is, whether or not he's been disappeared by authorities, if he's fled the country, or perhaps just laying low. Now, many people in tech still believe that the third option is probably the most likely because uh, from Beijing's perspective, such a high-profile detention would likely force other uh, entrepreneurs to think twice as to whether or not they want to be here. And it would come at a time when Beijing wants to make sure that people believe that uh, this environment is welcoming to private business. Uh, and then for, for Jack Ma himself, fleeing is seen as a is potentially a not very practical option as well. And that's because uh, he has so many strong ties, both business-wise as well as personally, to this country. Uh, at the same time, guys, um, just the way that, that China operates and because of the low uh, tolerance right now of the current administration to critical voices, uh, nobody is ruling out the possibility uh, that Jack Ma uh, could either be on the run or that perhaps he has been detained. So strange, Eunice. I keep playing back that image of him dancing on Alibaba's, I think it was their 18th anniversary, to Michael Jackson in costume on stage. He was so, so public. Is there a sense there for, for whether the regulatory action and the pressure that he's facing now from the Chinese government is, is personal because of the comments that he said or t is targeting Alibaba and, and monopolies and, and Ant Financial and the companies and the, the sector? Well, the sense is that it's personal in that he is, as you mentioned, very outspoken um, up until these days. Um, he always is speaking his mind. And uh, so it was just seen as enough is enough. You've been criticizing us all this time while making money the entire way, and we just don't want to deal with this anymore. So in that way, it's personal. But in terms of the impact on him, um, over and over, when in various conversations I've had, most people think that the companies are going to be affected and that he won't have his own um, you know, personal downfall outside of business. Eunice, thanks so much for that. Much appreciated. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.